Vitro Project has developed a virtualized distributed platform of smart objects. Vitro uses virtual sensor networking to decouple sensor network applications from specific networks, enable dynamic collaboration of heterogeneous smart objects across different administrative domains, promote the reuse and efficient utilization of deployed wireless sensor islands resources. Vitro enables or significantly reduces the cost and complexity of smart city applications such as energy efficient smart buildings, security in public spaces and buildings, city traffic management. Let's now see how Vitro translates into real life. Vitro utilizes a sensor and actuator infrastructure. In an office building, multiple heterogeneous light, temperature, and CO2 sensors coexist with windows and other actuators. Applications can transparently utilize the sensor islands, irrespective of the underlying technology. Vitro can fuse multiple sensors to compose a virtual sensor. For example, combining the readings from the power meter and the CO2 sensor, presence can be detected. Or, by transparently combining readings from multiple sensors, measurement accuracy can be increased. An important advantage of Vitro is that it federates disjointed sensor islands all over a city, enabling smart applications. Multiple stakeholders or third-party providers can build new custom services and applications from the primary services and resources offered by heterogeneous and multi-vendor wireless sensor islands. Let's take a closer look. In a smart kindergarten, a number of Vitro-enabled sensors are installed, such as temperature, movement, and smoke sensors. These sensors are used to provide optimal and safe conditions for the children. Additionally, energy, water flow, and water leak sensors aid cost and safety monitoring. In another district of the city, Acme Lab uses dangerous chemicals inside its premises. Gas sensors are installed to detect dangerous leaks, while sensors continuously monitor the environment to detect fire. The Vitro platform enables collaborating sensors to detect any faulty or malfunctioning sensors and initiate alarms. Vitro enables transparent access to multiple stakeholders and third-party service providers. For example, the lab sensor's infrastructure is monitored by a security company which receives the sensor readings and fire alarms. Apart from security concerns, the sensor alarms are sent to the city authorities, enabling faster reaction to critical situations. At another location, a security firm monitors the readings produced from both locations, the kindergarten and technology lab, by accessing the Vitro web application. At a fourth location, the fire station, Alerts based on the Vitro services are received automatically with high reliability since Vitro detects and automatically filters out false readings. Let's follow an emergency example. A major leak at the kindergarten is detected and the security company is notified. The Vitro platform is programmed to automatically shut down the electrical supply in order to prevent additional problems. In the meantime, a fire breaks out at the chemical lab and the respective alert arrives immediately at the fire station. In parallel, the readings arrive at a civil protectorate department in the prefecture premises via the Vitro website, allowing for real-time water and power consumption monitoring. In another location within the city, Georgia, on her way back home from her office, receives a notification about the accident at the kindergarten on her smartphone. The mobile notification comes from a Vitro service that parents can subscribe to in order to receive immediate information about any critical events at the kindergarten. She starts driving towards the kindergarten to pick up her son, and Vitro traffic sensors help her find the best route based on real-time information. By utilizing the Vitro Delay Tolerant Networking feature, Georgia continues to receive alerts even if her device is not always connected to the network. She receives an alert that there is an accident ahead and that she needs to change her route. Alkis and Marios are waiting at the bus stop, but the bus seems to be delayed without any prior notice.
Marios receives a notification on his smartphone since he has subscribed to the Vitro traffic monitoring services. They can't take the bus due to the fire, but they can take the train, so they head to the train station. Back at the kindergarten, Georgia arrives in time thanks to the real-time instructions provided by the Vitro Traffic Services, and together with her son, returns safely back home. You can find out more about Vitro on our website, www.vitro-fp7.eu.